A package of bills recently passed the governor's pen with the mission of protecting our state's judges. Now, the push for protections comes after a judge from New Lisbon was killed in 2022 by a man he sentenced to prison over a decade earlier. I spoke to a local judge to learn what part he played in making this legislation a reality and what steps he's taking to keep himself and his courtroom safe. Other than adoptions and weddings, not a lot of happy things happen in this building. Chippewa County Judge Stephen Gibbs understood that well before he took his oath seven years ago. He also understood the gravity of his gavel and the consequences that hang in the balance. People used to have respect for authority and you're seeing less and less of that. Scrutiny, protests, even death threats. Officials say the 56-year-old is suspected of murdering Judge Romer. It's a troubling trend facing members of the judiciary statewide and close to home. The courthouse was targeted last fall by an individual and uh, our law enforcement ended up taking him down just north of Bloomer on the highway as he was traveling here. And then he again got out on bail and uh, again started with the internet threats against us. So presently he's fighting extradition in Texas, but it's getting more and more common. In fact, according to the state Supreme Court Marshal's office, in the last year, 142 threats were made against judges in Wisconsin. 142 is high. Too high. So Judge Gibbs used his position on the state judicial legislative committee to push for protections. And state lawmakers are by his side. So this is really important for the judges of our state. Among the bills signed into law, new privacy protections will prevent access to personal information, like home addresses. You know it going in as a public official. Uh, you can find anything on the Internet. If it makes it a little bit harder for people that are looking to target me or my family, uh, I'm happy. And picketing, parading, or demonstrating at or near a judge's home with intent to interfere with their work is now a crime. We can't impede justice that way. That's absolutely wrong. Judge Gibbs says these laws are long overdue and more needs to be done, especially at the Chippewa County Courthouse. Our county board has given us one officer, security officer here, and he does a great job, but he's only one for three courtrooms. Right now, the courthouse is working to hire a second. Uh, we'd like a security plan uh, with limited access. Right now, there's seven or eight entrances to this building, so if they could shut it down and narrow it down to a couple, screen everybody that came into the courthouse because I'm no more important than uh, someone in zoning or DHS or the treasurer's office. We need to protect all of our people here at the courthouse. While he waits for more measures, he's taken matters into his own hands to keep himself, his courtroom, and his family safe. Uh, I started carrying concealed and I carry every day because uh, there's nothing they can do from when I leave the front door to get in my car. Not surprised. I'm glad he's doing it. I would encourage other judges and justices to consider doing that too. We have to protect ourselves. We have to protect our family. Action doesn't stop there. The public can help, too. Social media is fueling a lot of this because people can hide behind a keyboard and hit send. So if you see something, say something. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Reporting for News 18, I'm Shannon Hoyt. Judge Gibbs also told me he has a home security system and his family members are trained in firearm use. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the new bills aimed at protecting judges in Wisconsin, head to this story at WQOW.com.